laid down yeah not too bad it's already starting to set up and we just got done pouring now that two percent is definitely kicking we got a little bit of a breeze too so that's always helpful in drying out the top so anyway we'll keep going with the progress these videos uh, to start are gonna be a little little weird I'm not used to filming and uh, you know editing and all that so I'll do my best and uh, hopefully you like it if not well I guess don't watch it all right, so this is how we do our final edges here. Take this right here. Go like this. Rather than getting on the skitters, there, get my close up. So rather than getting on the skitters, we use this right here. And all the way around, get everything nice and tight. Look at that good finished product. Load it up. And that's basically what we got for a finished product, more or less. So it keeps everything nice and tight, gets it right in. We'll go around, you know, one or two more times and get it real, real tight. But uh, it's better to get on your hands and knees or bending over after you do this for years and years and years. Uh, you know, it gets, gets tiring on your back and on your, your legs and just about everything. So we find the simple ways to do things. And now that you've seen it with that tool, we're going to use our steel trowel, pool trowel. And we go right to the edges, and to get it nice and tight, you can rock it just a little bit and pull back, and you get a nice, tight, tight edge. And again, usually we go over this one or two times. Get it in there nice. And if you got chatter like that, it's because you're holding the trowel up too much. If you bring the trowel down just ever so slightly, you'll get a smoother pass. You'll do away with those, that chatter marks. And typically those chatter marks are because the stone. You'll see the stone, how rough it is right there. And so those stones are kind of hard to get down and that's why we use the machine right here to knock all those stones down and get the cream up. We go around all the lolly columns all the way around. Do the whole perimeter of it. And then the machine basically does the rest. And I'm gonna show you how to work that uh, in a few minutes. And now we're on the machine. So this whips up the concrete, knocks the stones down, and gets the cream on top. So we go in a crisscross pattern. We'll go down. We lift up on the handle, bring it forward about two feet, and then go over that mark. And then repeat. 
repeat the process. Pull down. Roll over. Lift up on the handle. And that's it. Up is left, down is right. Pretty easy, but it leaves an awesome product. And the longer you hit it, the smoother it gets. All right, first pass completed. So it looks good, went well, we hit it perfect timing. And you wanna wait to hit it until you leave, you know, I'd say about a eighth of an inch impression with your finger. If you push down and it's too soft, don't get on it because you're just gonna whip up the floor something fierce. You're gonna dig holes, it's gonna bounce, you don't want that. So with the machine, it's pretty easy. I mean, if you lift the handle up, it goes to the left. If you push down, the machine's gonna go to the right. And I'm talking little movements. You don't need the wrench on it and the machine will move. You have a uh, blade adjuster right there. If you turn it clockwise and counterclockwise, the blades will tilt or flatten out. I use a combo blade. It's just much easier rather than taking the float blades on and off and back and forth and blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, we burn all of our floors anyway. So this floor will basically have black patches all over it. So that's what we call burning the floor. You know, there's a, a lot of other uh, guys out there that film and whatnot, you know, like uh, Mike Day's Concrete, I watch him. You know, he does some pretty wild stuff. Victory Service, the Concrete Ninjas, and that's actually about all I watch. And, uh, you know, they've been around for years. They have their ways of doing things, you know, they're, you know, dead set on their way being the right way and, and that's fine and it works for them. In our way, same here, you know, this way works for us. We get a fantastic product. We're staying busy, you know, it's just a, a small operation. It's me and two guys. We can handle about 50 yards uh, by ourselves, uh, provided, you know, we don't have tons of shoots moving along, but we can handle 50 yards. And for three guys, that's not bad. And both of my guys came on with me two years ago, two and a half years ago. So, and before that they had zero experience. So. As it is right now, we're definitely uh, making some headway, making some progress. And, uh, you know, with the machine, we go back to front, front to back, all the way down. And then the next pass will go left to right, left to right. And it fills in any of the holes, impressions, and so on. So any of the areas that may have a little bit of a whoop to it, that'll help get it out and get it nice and flat. So our floors generally come out absolutely perfect, or as perfect as we can get them. So anyway, that uh, is this portion of it, and that's it. And the video quality right now is gonna kinda suck, because this is our very, very first actual video, and uh, I'm doing it with a cell phone right now. I've never actually done this before, so we're giving this the good old-fashioned college try, and if you don't like it, well, don't watch it. I don't know, if you do, hit the subscribe button, keep it moving, and uh, we'll keep updating you. So I will show you a finished product when we're done. All right, so this is the end of the second pass. Now we're really starting to lay it down nice. You can see the, uh, the patterns from where the machine went, but now it's starting to turn. Now it's getting harder. You get that optical illusion of it going kind of like waves. It looks absolutely awesome. The floor is dead flat. There's no hopping with the machine. Everything is just going nicely straight across. And again, this is the first floor uh, coming back from the winter months. So usually we're a little rough, but we picked it right up. I mean, again, we've been doing it for 138,000 years, it seems like. But uh, anyway, looks good. So we'll show you a uh, finished product on the next one. All right, here is the third pass, and then we'll have one more to burn it in about 45 minutes from now. Warmed up to about 45 degrees, but the hot water and calcium is definitely kicking in now. So it's uh, about three o'clock now, but the floor is looking absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Edges are perfect. Floor is dead flat. Lolly columns will be cleaned tomorrow, so they will look good as well. But yeah, the way we do it, this is the process and uh, this is the ending product. So everybody has a different way of doing things. This works for us and uh, that's that. So one more pass and that'll be the end of our day. And we're on our last pass. I know it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, 
but it looks marbleized. So this is what we call a burned finish. You can sort of see the black marks. The lighting is absolutely horrible, so it is kind of hard to, you know, to see, but this is a burn finish. It polishes the top from the friction and the spinning blades. It is super flat, super smooth, and uh, this leg is all done in through here, and I'm working my way out the door now. So I hope you like this. I hope it's informational. I hope it's entertaining. If you do like it, please subscribe, like, comment. If you have any suggestions about how I can do things differently, it would be nice if you kept them to yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! And not to toot my own horn, but uh, woo, woo, this is one hell of a job here. It looks amazing. So we love what we do. We hope you like it the same. So enjoy the rest of your night and look forward to the rest of our videos because I know I will. See you on the next one.